Students at some North County schools are again having to go home early because of broken air conditioning. It's a problem Poway Unified has been struggling with for nearly two weeks. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live in Rancho Bernardo. And Mimi, this is putting a big strain on parents and the students. It is Kimberly and both of the schools here behind me will be impacted for the rest of the week. So you have Rancho Bernardo High School and then you have Bernardo Heights Middle School right next door here. We caught up with some students and parents earlier today who are really hoping that the classrooms can cool down soon. This this heat wave is really impacting us. It's really hard to concentrate in the classroom because of the heat, like um, even after, especially after lunch. Students at Bernardo Heights Middle School Wednesday dealing with the impacts of this heat once again. They were let out of school at noon as cooling systems continue to be a problem. Most of my rooms that I have class in have like fans and stuff, so it's cooler, but it's still really hot and it's it's just really hard to like get stuff done. It's like in the there. mornings they're nice, but then like even at 12, it just gets way too hot. Right next door, the same situation at Rancho Bernardo High School. Students got out at 1:15, and parents lined the streets waiting to pick them up in the early afternoon. I have a sophomore, junior, and senior. I actually bought them low portable AC fans to bring to school, so I'm hopefully they're using it. The district says the outdated HVAC systems at both schools is unreliable. They are working to find a permanent fix, but installed a chiller to help cool down both schools. However, it quickly stopped functioning properly. A second system will be installed this week, but that means early outs for both schools until at least Friday. It's frustrating. You know, I think we're all trying to be understanding of this situation, but it's wearing. I've had to reschedule doctor appointments. I've had workers coming to the house that I've had to reschedule and shuffle. The unusual pickup times were disruptive for many. Some parents telling us off camera that they would have preferred to go back to online classes until the situation is resolved. Others thankful that the district is doing something to keep the kids safe. It's really hot in the classes for them. Thank goodness the school's letting them out early. Um, we dealt with this last week as well. And Midland Elementary School was also let out early today, but a district spokesperson did tell us that their AC issues there have been resolved and tomorrow will be back to a normal school day. We're live in Rancho Bernardo, Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. Oh, good, good news about tomorrow. Thank you, Mimi.